it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition. challenge he was up against, but he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When that fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the ground. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, missed on that one. Just misses with the jab there. All right, going for the early takedown, he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. And they both stand up. Big, powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He missed with that jab attempt there. That strike blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Big head kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? And they separate. Just missed with the left there. Fantastic takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty Use from this position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job working hard, coasting and getting back up. Beautiful strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. And they separate. Throwing that jab, no good. Ooh, big shot, man. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, single collar tie here. Out of range with that one. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. Olympians kind of like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Nice straight punch. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, out 
outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Chor. And again, he lands another punch, DC. He's certainly got the hands going tonight. He is a phenomenal boxer. And he landed the right hand there. Single collar tie now. Nice punch lands over the top. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Close to the body there. Nice kick. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Got the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty okay, good, not two. great, but some ready? action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see if he really charges out ahead in the second round. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Trying to establish that jab once again. What a fantastic wrestling. Great takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, big punch land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch lands through the middle. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big knee lands to the body. And there comes the separation now. Nice defense there. Single leg attempt, no good. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big kick lands. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Under two minutes now to go in the round. Fighters back to their feet here. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. And they separate. Oh, he lands another. 
another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make it. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous uh, two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Nice try. The Korean Superboy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. There it is. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick land. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Beautiful takedown land. Gets the single leg takedown. Nice hammer fist. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Back to the feet now. Beautiful kick. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Back and forth we go. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Choi. Plus right hand is true. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left foot. Wow, he actually got the takedown. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Under three minutes now to go in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters that we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. 
Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat Pouch, you gotta play Cat Pouch. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Look at him working. Oh! Trying to oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Man, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Great punch. And they separate. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Outstanding output on both sides. Oh! What a fantastic shot. Oh, he tasted that knockout line. He tasted the knockout line. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Inside the Octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by... Oh!